These are the top five strategies to make money with NFTs MEV for maximal money making. Let's go. Can you do MEV with NFTs? Yes, you can make money with different strategies. MEV is just simply listening for transactions on the blockchain and making actions based on that information. Here's what you will learn. Three simple strategies, two complex strategies and the best strategy for you for making money with NFTs using MEV. Let's get right into it. These are the simple strategies. So sniping NFT mints. It's a very easy to execute method. It requires some upfront work to find the best collections and it's great for you if you're a researcher. You can find those at NFT calendar. So what is sniping NFT mints? It's basically searching for, for projects, searching for NFT collections that are about to be released and buying them before anyone else. Sniping is just using a sniper bot, a program that allows you to position yourself as the first buyer, one of the first buyers for the best opportunity to make sure you're not, not you don't miss the mint because many NFTs that are in demand, they sell out in minutes or seconds. So you want to make sure to buy those valuable NFTs, NFT collections, and you get them at the best price. So what is NFT calendar? Well, NFT calendar is this page and it allows you to find tokens, NFT collections that are being released every day. You see that these are different NFT collections. You simply take a look at them, read through them, see how the community is, how many members, how active it is, and determine which ones to buy, to snipe, to make sure you get before them hype is one of the most important aspects for this strategy let's go for the next one arbitraging nfts by offer what is arbitraging it's simply buying at one marketplace and selling at another where there are price differences you buy it cheap at one place you sell it for a higher price and you keep the difference so this is cross marketplace arbitrage you simply rebalance nft floors basically this means you make you and make the price equal for all exchanges that have that collection for all marketplaces and this is great for you if you are great at coding and trading because you need some trading knowledge to apply this strategy so for example open c to rarible this is a very simple method let's see how that looks like so the gods is a collection that's on open c and you can take a look at the items and you see that the last one the floor the cheapest one is at the three 84 ether if you go to rarible and you search for the same collection the gods you will take you will notice that there is the cheapest one is at a lower price 3748 what you can do is using a program a bot you buy it here at the cheapest price and you sell it here or you put it on the sale for slightly less like 3.8 and you keep the difference whatever's you know the difference between 3.7 and 3.8 you make sure you are the cheapest price you sell it because someone will want to buy if it's a very high in demand collection you can be sure that someone will buy it very soon and they will get the best price the floor price you can also use the the offers which indicates people that are already committing money they're, they're putting money into it and they're saying okay here's 3.15 ether someone give me an NFT of this collection and I'll send you the money instantly. The good thing about this is that they are sending the money right away so you don't have to wait. So if you see, let's say, one they got for some reason it's a 2 Ether, you can buy it here and instantly in the same transaction sold for 3.15 Ether, making a high profit there. Hope you understand this strategy and you can make it between many different exchanges, many different marketplaces. Below floor capture, this strategy is takes advantage of errors that people make when listing their NFTs. So you watch the mempool for listing errors, you buy before the floor, you sell to the highest offer, and it's great for you if you have great infrastructure. So what is this about? This is when someone lists a token, someone puts a, an NFT for sale, and instead of, let's say, they want to sell it for 3.5, they sell it for 0.35. That's a mistake, an honest mistake that happens more often than you may imagine. And you simply will buy it right away and sell it to the cheapest, to the first, I mean, to the highest offer for profit. So if you buy, let's say, for some reason, someone makes a mistake and sells 
one they got for 0.3 ether your bot your program will find that will see that in the mempool buy it and sell it right away for 3.16 ether making you a profit of three ether or so it's a very massive profit massive profit if you take advantage of that but you must make sure to use flashbots or some other mev tool because there are many people applying the same strategy and that's the only way you can beat them you, you take the transaction you give some to the miners you give some of the profit to the miners and they make sure you get the profit too this is great if you have great infrastructure because otherwise you will take too long to process all the transactions to see all the information so you need to have a very fast node ideally your own let's take a look at some complex MEV NFT strategies and this is only for people that have been in the MEV space for a while they know they're great at coding and they know what they're doing trade capture what is this it's using rarity to your advantage you buy valuable trades for cheap you sell them for a profit this is for you if you're willing to risk more for massive gains and blur AO is the main website for this what is trade capture well if you're familiar with nfts you will know that each nft has properties or traits this is just you, you see traits these are just elements that define the nft and each of these traits has a rarity score you see five percent of nfts have the tourist t this one 55 53% have this and and that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for tokens for nfts with a very rare element buy them if they are at a cheap price and sell them at a higher price by listing them at, at a higher price this way you make a profit let's take a look at this so blur AO is a website that allows you to analyze collections if you take a look at one they got you can see all the traits you can see how many nfts have that trait how rare this is and the, the price for that for that trait basically this tells you what is the lowest price for that particular trait you can find nfts that are basically undervalued based on their rarity nfts that are very rare but someone didn't know how rare they are and they put it on sale for cheap you buy those ones and you sell them you put them on sale for a higher price and you can be confident that they will sell because there are many people that are watching you know they're looking for rare nfts because those are usually at the higher price because the only difference between nfts between all of these they look very similar right but there are there's a huge price disparity that's because of their rarity for instance take a look at this 150 ether is much more expensive than the others and that's simply because you look at this 0.38 percent 0.73 percent this is a very very unique nft there are very few with those traits it's a very rare nft so that you can make a lot of money from from having one of those you see the floor it even tells you the flow of that so yeah i hope you understand the strategy you basically buy nfts that are rare but undervalued and you list them with a higher price and you can just wait and receive the money this is great if you're willing to risk a bit more because you have to wait until you sell them you may not even sell them but you, you simply look for collections that are very high demand there's volume you know this ones that are popular so generalized nft trading this is the best strategy the most complicated one but it is basically using mathematical models to buy nfts in demand you read the mempool for the fastest selling tokens including mints you know collections that are being released and it's great if you are looking for the best gains with calculated risk what is this it's basically take a look at how fast they sell a particular collection yeah you can take a look at the trending section and you can go to the seven day or six day and that will tell you which tokens are selling very fast what you are gonna do is you're gonna see which ones are rapidly gaining price they're gaining momentum there are many people buying them suddenly or for whatever reason because they release a new future or something is going on and you capture that you buy those 
right as they are raising in price and you make a profit by selling them after a certain point you can replicate this strategy many many times there's always some new nft that is trending in nft collection you just have a program that is listening for you know for changes in price that are calculated different metrics related to volume how many buyers how rare the nft is and that will help you indicate which ones are worth buying now this also applies to new tokens that are being released you watch the mempool you create a program that watches for nft collections that are being released in the first block and you see before at the same block you're seeing all the buys that are right on the first second that means that a lot of people are buying and you may want to be a part of that you know that nft collection so it's a very different strategy but it's a very great one you, that you can apply multiple times so let's go to the next step and the best strategy for you let's take a look at what's the best one for you the ideal strategy for you may be snipe and mints this is good if you like to research tokens if you don't want to bother with too much code this is great for the general public for anybody can do this you just snipe tokens buy tokens that are worth something and sell them for a profit because you can trust your analysis you can determine that they're great tokens and that there's a good community that will buy them and the team members are legit so the marketplace arbitrage strategy is good for traders if you like to trade if you you know if you like to make money that way you can simply apply the strategy create a bot that does arbitrage find some exchange that you can you know watch over and apply the strategy below floor capture this is be the best strategy to get started because it's a simple bot that notices when there is a price a significant price difference between the floor and real price that is the floor and you buy those and sell them to the highest offer you can calculate that very strategically it's a simple strategy but it works many times and the profits can be very insane trust me very insane meaning like you buy for one ether you sell it for 20 or 30 ether because someone made a mistake or because someone wants to sell it for cheap so trade capture this is great for you know mv searchers that have some experience and this is simply buying those that are rare and sell them for a profit if you know how to make bots this may be for you generalized nft trading that is that you must be an expert to apply this because this strategy takes some risk you're trading your nfts and you need to you know have some mathematical knowledge develop models arbitrage uh, seeing how things work in mev and code a bot that watches not just the price but the volume the hype around the project you know every metric that you can possibly get a hold of this is a very great strategy but you need to be an expert of course join us at mev dow to get started in mev because we are helping everybody build their own bots we are also creating our bots and it's on telegram the website is this one you see you can take a look at mevdow.org everything is there it's a it has a white paper one pager if you want to access our bots right now the snipe bot is the only one available but this bot allows you to buy tokens before anyone else as you can see it's listening for transactions it tells you the progress of your sniping and how at which block you want to sell it's a very very interesting piece of software that it's available for you so hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe share and comment which video you want to see next and which strategy seems the most interesting to you which one do you like the most from these ones let me know